I don't know if this is just me, but do you guys ever have these long chats inside ChatGPT or Claude and then can't find it on the left in your history and you're wondering where it went and how you did what you did? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a quick trick that I realized the other day on how you can take these long chats, turn it into a custom GPT and just make your processes more efficient. So be sure to stick around to the very end. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Ryan. I appreciate you being here and my goal is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. So if you have any thoughts on this particular video, be sure to leave me a comment below. But now let's dive back into this quick custom GPT trick that I discovered. So before I dive in, I must note that you have to be a member of ChatGPT Plus in order to do what I'm about to show you in this tutorial, as you can't access, use, or create custom GPTs if you're not a member of ChatGPT Plus. So it's important that I mention that. So in this real world example, here is what I did. So last week I created an AI news video going over all the different AI news from the past week. Well, then what I wanted to do is create a social media post that looks like this based off of this AI video where I don't have to manually go through, find each story and then format it like this. Like that can take a lot of time to do that manually. So I was having AI try to help me speed up this process. So essentially what I did here in ChatGPT is I said, if I give you my YouTube transcript, which I did, I gave it the YouTube transcript of my news video. I said, can you provide a bullet point list of each news story with a one sentence description for each? And so here's my YouTube transcript. And then it gave me a one sentence description each in a bullet list like I asked. Well, then I looked at this and I thought, well, actually, I want emojis instead of bullet points. And so then it gave me emojis uh, instead of bullet points for all these different news stories. And then I said, can you make the description a little shorter? I thought these descriptions were too long. And then it made the descriptions a little shorter. So then what I did is I copy and pasted this and I made my own tweaks. And this is what I came up with on my social media posts. And I sent it back to ChatGPT. And here's the important part of this little trick. I said, task, can you make a prompt or instructions if I want to make a custom GPT for this task again in the future? And that is the quick little trick that I'm trying to explain to you in this video is that I gave it what I wanted based on this entire conversation, pasted it back into chat GPT. And I said, essentially, make a custom GPT to speed this up and make my life easier. And then what it did is it gave me custom GPT instructions. It gave it a task gave instructions, gave an example format, example output, uh, and all this other information right here. And so then what I did is I simply copy and pasted the chat GPT instructions, came up on the top, click my GPTs, create a GPT, pasted it into the configuration here where it says instructions. And then I obviously filled out all the other stuff as well, where I ended up creating this custom GPT literally in one minute called YouTube to social media post GPT. So again, if I click this, repurpose my YouTube video transcript into a social media post, and I come back in here and let's actually do this again. So I'm going to find the transcript for this uh, YouTube video. So here's a transcript on the right. I'm going to copy and paste this transcript. I want to see if this works in real time. Copy this, come back to my new custom GPT, paste it in here. And now let's see if it followed the instructions. And so it says, here's a concise social media post based on your YouTube transcript. And this is exactly what I'm talking about, right? Top AI news of the week has an emoji. It has HubSpot breeze, what it is. And it has a one sentence description of what the AI news piece was. And so right there, I don't like all the hashtags, so I can come back and maybe say, don't use hashtags, right? But in a matter of seconds now, I now have a, a post that I can copy and paste on my social media channels to complement this AI news video. So I'll stop rambling there, guys. That's just a, a quick tip that I found out the other week that I'm like, oh my God, I got to make a video about this and let you guys know what I discovered. And so in the future, if I come across any new like tips and tricks like that, that I just showed you, I'll just make a video on it. And if you guys want more of this, cool. If not, whatever. Um, but regardless, guys, that's it. That's just a quick custom GPT trick. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Again, my name is Ryan. Be sure to like if you found value. If you didn't like value, dislike. Be sure to leave me a comment below. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.